As always, a stellar international cast assembled at Park Paddocks for book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sales, where the opening session was lit up by the sale of a Dubawi colt for 3.6 million guineas, the highest price paid anywhere in the world this year for a yearling colt. It was the Godolphin buying team standing alongside His Highness Sheikh Mohammed who dug deep to secure the half-brother to their own St James's Palace winner Barney Roy, seeing off underbidders Alistair Donald and subsequently a determined Coolmore team who pushed the successful purchasers all the way to the session-topping price. The offering was owned by Son Bloodstock, who had bought the dam in foal to Barney Roy at the Tattersall's December mare sale for just 65,000 guineas, and subsequently produced this Dubawi colt who was consigned by Hazelwood Bloodstock. Beautiful horse, beautifully bred, um, family very current, very active. We knew he's a lovely horse, but you don't expect that sort of figure when you go in there, so it's, it's, it's amazing, I'm, 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 I'm blown away. To be honest with you, when we got up around the million, I was, I was quite satisfied and, 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 and the rest was just a, a, an amazing experience to, to just stand there and, and, and watch those figures go up. The very best of luck to Darley and, and all the connections who have bought him and we're very grateful, very thankful to Sheikh Mohammed and his team. His breeders are, are, are very strong supporters of ours. I've been, I've been looking forward to this day from the time that the mating was planned and for, for nothing to go wrong from now until then is quite amazing. You know, he, he's been a beautiful individual from day one and he, he's never missed a beat. He's, he's just been a charm. I wish they were all like that. Anthony Stroud, sir, thank you very much indeed and the very best of luck. Demand for stock by Godolphin's flagship stallion Dubawi characterised the day as two further colts by the leading sire broke the seven-figure mark. The first was the hotly anticipated Lot 77, a colt out of champion race mare The Fugue, who sold to David Redvers for one million guineas, much to the delight of his breeders and consigners, the Lloyd Webber's watership down stud. We're absolutely delighted, of course we don't like selling anything, but we do that, we're a commercial stud, we sell our colts. And the good news is, I think, having talked to Prince Fahd, that he is going to go to um, John Gosden. So, of course, the Fugue was trained brilliantly by John, and it's nice that the family is going to stay there. You've had a lot of lovely Dubawis as well through your hands. How does this cult, do you feel, compare to, say, the Sire, or is he very typical of the Fugue? Oh, he's more Dubawi, actually. The Fugue was really quite a, you know, slight. Although she was tall, she was quite narrow, she had little feet, she was a real athlete, and um, this is much more Dubawi, very powerful from behind, and who knows how the feud's going to come through, but I would think, you know, she, she won a champion stake, she, she's still holding the track record for the Prince of Wales stakes at Royal Ascot, and that's by two seconds, so she was incredibly fast. So, gosh, I mean, if this can't be fast, I don't know what will be. He comes from a fantastic farm. He's uh, out of one of the greatest race mares of recent years, really, in the Fugue. He was a big, strong, imposing individual. I, he moved very well for Dubawi. He, he trotted very well as well. We, it was rather embarrassing. We took him around the back and trotted him yesterday to see how light he was on his feet, and he impressed. He's just, he's a beauty. He's a, he's a pro proper model. He vetted extremely well. Yeah, we're looking, looking forward to racing him. It has been a landmark few days for Andreas Jakob's Nussels Park stud, who having seen their silks carried to victory in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe by Valgeis at the weekend, also registered a notable sales ring success when lot 124, a Dubawi cult out of Without You Babe, became the second million guinea lot on the day. Consigned on behalf of breeder John Gunther, the half-brother to the owner's St James's Palace winner Without Parole, was secured by trainer Kevin Ryan, also fresh from a notable weekend and racecourse victory courtesy of Prix de Labby winner Glass Slippers. He's a lovely horse and you know and I've seen him uh, several times he's um, by Dabawi out of a, you know a, a very good family uh, Mayor is doing it and, and when he was walking around up here in, in Sheikh Mohammed Abed he, he said he had a lot of characteristics that were similar to Dabawi and obviously he knows all about Dabawi so everything everything matched up and um, look it's uh, in the scheme of things, it's, it's, it's a lot of money, but it, the horse has the pedigree, you know, and you know, if, he, if he goes on to great things, well, there's a stallion's pedigree there. The highest price filly during the opening session was lot 105, a Glenvale stud consigned offering by Franco from the family of Alain Letois, who was knocked down to Laurent Benoit of the Broadhurst Agency for 850,000 guineas. 
Sheikh Hamdan also joined his brother His Highness Sheikh Mohammed in attendance at this year's sale, making a significant splash when securing two offerings for 800,000 guineas through his racing and bloodstock manager Angus Gold, the first being a Sayuni colt from Watership Down Stud. I saw him on the stud about a month ago at Watership Down and loved him then. Um, and to be honest, I just loved him again at the sales. Lovely athletic horse, the mare's bred tough horses by not necessarily the best stallions. She's been a great producer. It's a good, hard running family, and I just love the horse, and luckily, Sheikh Hamdan did too. 800,000 guineas was the price also paid by the Shadwell team for Lot 166, a dark angel sister to the operation's champion sprinter Batash from Bally Phillips Stud, an offering that was sure to pique the interest of the successful purchaser. You know, Batash is, he's been a bit of a star for us. He has his moments and his days and he perplexes us one day and then amazes us the next. So, um, but check out and obviously loves the horse. Uh, and as long as he liked the, the, this filly, um, you know, it was an obvious one for him and he very much did like her. And how similar was she? Was she taking more characteristics from his side or more from her side? Uh, I'd say, if anything, she had a little more length than he did as a yearling at the same stage. She's an early foal. She's probably not as strong as him, obviously, but she had a bit more length. But she was very athletic and you, it was hard to pick holes in her. Shabwell Estates, thank you very much indeed. After a record-breaking top lot headlined the opening day of Book One, anticipation is high heading into the second session.